everybody, my name is Carlos, and I'm going to show you my uh, virtual closet uh, demo. But before I start the demo, let me explain to you what it's about. It's um, <clears throat> a way that we, you're going to be able to log in uh, to your virtual uh, closet through your face, instead of uh, you physically going to your closet and choosing an outfit, this will do it for you by means of uh, randomizing uh, clothes. Uh, but before you get to your closet, this will recognize your face to make sure that that is your closet, not your brothers or sibling. And the way it does that is by place detection with recognition, and it keeps that in the database. Uh, for now, all I have is a simple menu. I have the place, place detection and face recognition working and I'm able to detect the uh, shirts and pants. Uh, <clears throat> later on, I was thinking of removing background to make it uh, more appealing and, uh, and having act the actual algorithm to select the output. Uh, the techniques that we use is we're using the connect. Uh, we use the depth stream and the color stream. The depth is to tell you how far you are from it, uh, and the color stream is for the actual color of the image. Oh, and for face recognition, I'm using the bar training, which is a, a very easy way of recognizing faces and detecting faces. Do you implement by yourself, or are, the, are you using the built-in, the algorithm? The algorithm, you do it yourself, but the most important part is the file, which contains, which is, is an XML file, and it contains all the information per object, and that's given to you. Mm -hmm. You can make your own if you have to, because uh, this one is for faces, and that's very popular, but if you say you wanted one for like license plate, you will create your own. And then I'm going to start the demo. Can I ask you a question before? Yes, sir. The hard training that you're talking about, so I'm not familiar with it, so it, it, you're talking about an XML file. What, what does the XML file contain? I will show you. And you said this is the XML file comes with... with uh, this is the XML file. But you didn't construct that XML file. No, this is, you, you download this file. All it contains is information about uh, uh, sizes of objects. So, one thing that I said before, uh, one example was, because this is for, for faces, mm -hmm. uh, most faces have, uh, if this is recognizing by square, so you'll have an image, and this will go uh, by block, mm -hmm. and it's a specific size of block. And that block is going to is looking for a specific size of blocks within the block. If those sizes fit these parameters, then it goes inside even more until it, it detects or until it stops, uh, until it recognizes that that is a face. And it's by, it's by means of blocks. So your eyes will be blocks. And once it moves the image, once it moves from one block to the next one, if it recognizes that those two blocks within that block, then it thinks that it's a face. And then it will, it will show up as a face. The way that you show the face, then you have options. You can show the square, or the circle, or the point. But you get the actual location within the image or video. Uh, Okay, so we have create closet and open closet. And with the Kinect, I'm using the, uh, the skeleton uh, information. And I'm just uh, tracking my hand. Uh, I believe I clicked on open. So let me uh, quit and go over because I want to create the uh, opening. That way we get the full. So I'm going to create a closet. So this is a small message. Just tells you that you're going to 
to take three different pictures. Um, why three? Because uh, uh, we want to be as accurate as possible. So if you take three different pictures of yourself, you have a higher chance of being recognized. Uh, the recognition is, is due by a threshold, which is a, a value that you set yourself. And with this value, uh, you can tell, you can maximize it or minimize it depending on how many people you have. So if you have a lot of people that, that look similar, you want to you want to minimize it because you want that number to be as small as possible. Recognize only the only time this doesn't work is if you have a twin mm -hmm. because you feel you know, it looks the same. So that's not gonna you won't differentiate. So let's take some pictures. Um, so that's Dubs, my first picture. Do one more time. This continues on until it finds the face. So you don't have to stay still, you can move around if you want to, um, because it will continue until it finds the face. Um, it will time out after 10 seconds because I didn't want it to break or you know, stay in a forever loop. And one more, one last picture. So as you can see, it, rec it recognizes the face. And as soon as it recognizes the face, I have it have them in the corner, and now I'm going to save it. So now, now that it's saved, now they're saved in the database. There's no name, there's only ID. Uh, the ID is created uh, as the picture's going. So it increments per person. Any problem? Oh. I don't know what taking so long. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna pretend that we're gonna uh, log in. So back to open the closet. Uh, this is when you do the face. And right now 
not saying no face found. So one more time. <laughs> I think it's also because of the light condition when you test. I did before and I was working. Mm -hmm. So I'll just change the lighting does make a big difference. Oh, really? Um, but uh, it was working before. So mm -hmm. just what about the camera position? Usually when you test, uh, when you sit on chair, that's different. Did you add the bypass option? Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. We're gonna change the threshold? Yeah, so it's gonna be this is my threshold right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at home, I have it on 1600, um, which is a smaller number. Mm -hmm. Over here, or whatever, I guess because of the lighting, I have to change it. So what that means is that people look similar, they might recognize you as someone. Mm. Can you bypass that option? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, Finally. Now. I don't know so that's the number. Thirty-five fifty-eight. That's the the uh, how similar I was to the faces of art uh, in the database. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna start by adding my shirt. So I use my hands to determine the width of the range that I want to save. And uh, so I click on add shirt. And this will add the shirt in three seconds. Um, now the shirt is saved. However, you don't see it because this is bigger than what it looks. I guess it's, it's formatted to the, to the resolution of the VGA. Mm -hmm. It's on the left hand side? Yeah, on, on, on this side I have a, an actual image that shows you the, mm -hmm. the shirt and the pants. Okay. Um, I guess I'll show you the one. But um, if you notice, you will see that it changed colors from blue to red. Mm -hmm. So now it's, it's recognizing the. Uh, the, uh, the paints, and it's the same idea. You save the paints the same way you set up your range. You click on add pans, and this will, after three seconds, it'll save the pans to your database, to your, to your account. And once you have that saved, um, you use both hands to click. So now the information is saved in the database. Uh, you're sure you're paying. 